And next up, we have Four Beheadings and a Funeral, uh, the Good Guys series, book number nine. Nine books in the series already. Written by Eric Ugland. It is 398 pages, $4.99. It is available on Kindle Limited. Here's the author's description. We joined Montana recently returned from an impromptu study abroad trip, a bit wiser, a bit broader in perspective, and a lot freaked out by the once dead person who's currently in his bedroom. Possible zombie sightings aside, he's finally ready to take his job as Duke per, uh, seriously, just in time to. Not only are the politics of the capital rapidly closing on Montana's life valleys, Montana's little valley holding, but there are also goblins to negotiate with. Plus, the cult threatening to take the lives of his citizens, Montana will have to pull off the impossible, walk amongst the highest level of Vildrani society to influence world politics and slaughter a few goblins in the process. Four Beheadings and a Funeral is a wild romp of town-building lit RPG. Pre-order it today. Well, the pre-order part should really have been deleted. It's been out for a little bit now. Um, there is a little more town building in this particular novel than there have been in others. Um, well, some town building, there's not, there's a lot of town theorizing on the building side of things. Um, a lot, some less implementation. Um, this is a, another entertaining slice of life story from the author. But again, remember with slice of life, um, you don't always get a lot of plot advancements. Uh, you just get these nice adventures you follow the main character on. Um, and that's kind of what this is. Um, if you're expecting like huge plot bonds, it's not going to happen in this particular book. Excuse me. Um, I, I would say the novel has quite a bit of bite without ruining things for anybody. Um, uh, but a lot of the story revolves around dealing with some small adventures in the meantime, and then returning to like the larger city establishment that he, he, he visited in the past and following up adventures and, and events there. Um, good action adventure. I think that's probably the biggest draw for a lot of the fans. And there are a ton of fans like this novel just dropped almost like on, on Amazon top 100 as soon as it came out. And it's been, you know, hanging around there for, for a while since it's, since it's been published because people really enjoy the action adventure of, of this story. It's very entertaining. Um, the RPG progression is solid in the story. Um, the main character does gain multiple levels. Although there is a change I noticed in the game mechanics instead of just giving him more stats, which honestly <laughs> it hasn't really, uh, really impacted him for a while now. Um, there's a change of the shift in those, instead of giving stats, he's getting abilities. I think that's a, a, a different way of kind of mixing up the game mechanics and giving him different powers and abilities to do. Um, so I'm, I'm for it. It just, uh, I would, would have really appreciated seeing why that happened. Uh, like a, like a solid explanation. It's just like, here you go. This is different. Um, still fun story. How do you time with it? Cause I see, uh, the character Yuri return. Um, he was a character in the last book and I wasn't sure where that character was going to go, uh, with the, with the series. And here you go. He pops in again. Totally makes sense in the context of the monster hunting that occurs in the story. So good stuff. Overall, good read. Uh, Sketch Source 7.6 out of 10. Um, that's four beheadings and a funeral. The Good Guy series, book number nine, with a score of 7.6 out of 10.